Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Floods. If you believe what you see and hear on the media today, you will think that we've never had floods before. How wrong they can be. Watch my film and you will learn the truth of what's happened in the past and what nature has provided to combat the floods. So without further ado, sit back and enjoy. February 2024 and the River Severn floods for the second time this year. Nothing unusual in that, but that's what nature intended our rivers to do. Collect the rain sodden water off the fields and to put it in the river and when there is too much, simply fill up the adjacent floodplains. Deerhurst Church, dating from the 8th century, stands isolated, almost surrounded by flood water. Moving a little way down river to Wainload Hill, we see the great expanse of floodplains. All seems calm until we turn on our radios and television to hear sob stories of people flooded out of their homes. Not surprisingly, when modern man has stupidly built on these floodplains. Arriving at the city of Gloucester, we look along the quay. The River Severn, three miles upriver from here, are split into two legs. This is the East Channel, and on the left, Olney Island. Here we have Gloucester Lock, 
opened in 1812, together with the Dock Basin beyond. Bypassing the treacherous River Severn, opened in 1827, is the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal. Four days later, and the floods have receded. The levels of the Severn rise quickly and can fall again just as quick. But not always, not unknown for the river to remain flooded for weeks.
as the sun sets over the swollen Severn, we bid farewell to the river as it flows below Gloucester, passing Maysmore, bound for the sea. Thank you for watching my film. If you liked it, why not subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Meanwhile, I look forward to meeting you all again next week with a new film for you to enjoy. Bye.